Welcome mates. In this video, we will cover another set of survey basics. Today, we are talking about finding distance and azimuth readings from an AutoCAD drawing. Let's review. You can locate a point by knowing how far it is from the theodolite and by knowing the angle reading. The angle reading is called the azimuth reading. Now, let's check a drawing that has already been made in AutoCAD. We can get the distance and azimuth for the corner points on the property line. Let's open a drawing that you have already done. Make sure that you're in model space. Make sure that your construction lines from 0, 0 are showing. You can see that each construction line is the same as the survey reading. From a theodolite to the rod. For each corner of the property. Now let's look at a different version of the survey data record template. This one shows distance and azimuth angle for each reading. So, fill it in using the information in the properties box for each construction line in the drawing. Watch this quick demonstration. First, make sure that your units are set in the way that you want them to be recorded. Here it is. Degrees. Minutes. Seconds. How if the lights work clockwise? Be sure to check the clockwise box. Select each survey construction line and read the properties. You will find length. You will find angle. Record those on the record sheet. Here you see the fourth line being recorded. Some of you may already know how to export this information automatically. If you do already know how, then you can use that method instead of this one. And remember to save both your template and your AutoCAD files. Save them in your Google Drive, and on your computer or network drive. Maybe even a flash drive. So now you've seen it. Those are the basics of how to find the distance and azimuth readings from an AutoCAD drawing. Be sure to contact your instructor if you need more explanation on how to do this.